All right, so for today, you have home play numbers 1 through 12 only. And I do want to see the process. So last night you had close to 20, you had 27 problems, right? And it went pretty fast, but they were only one-step equations. Today we're looking at two-step to multi-step, and, and that's what I'm telling you, it's going to build up pretty fast. So here we go. Our objective for today, I can solve and graph multi-step one variable equations. Read together, one, two, three. I can solve and graph multi-step one variable equations. So what's missing on your objective that you already wrote in? Very good. You already wrote it in on your Cornell notes, right? Good. And once again, we know what the main concept is. Is that correct, Wolf? What's our main concept? Uh, thank you, Wolf. All right. And I'm sorry? Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, so your non-example should look something like this, and then you came up with some hashtags, yes? All right. The process is the same. Uh, we're still using the four steps. What are our four steps? Simplify, isolate, plot, and check. I want to see the process. Okay. Here we go. So um, I did an introduction yesterday using uh, the Costco video, right? But also I, I kind of tied it in with me going to the grocery store and there's scales everywhere. Is that correct? And then I showed you a scale something like this, and we said if we put weight on one side, that means we need to put weight on the other to keep it balanced. Is that correct? And that's where we get the whole deal about putting your line straight to the equal sign so that you can continue to balance it out. Because for these next ones, you're going to have to remain organized in order to continue uh, getting the correct answer. So before I, I, I go to the, uh, the actual practice, let me do a quick side story on this one. So let's say uh, one of you, uh, let me pick, uh, let's say Nayeli. Nayeli, she's uh, buying a gift for this special someone. And then, um, so, so she gets home, and, uh, and let me show you what she does. Here's a box, and then... Um, All right, and uh, she doesn't want to tell us what it is, so um, so she she we're gonna say that it's X because it's unknown. See what I did there? All right, never mind. All right. So then after that, she closes the box and uh, she wants to uh, wrap it really nice. So then she gets a she puts the wrapper on the table. There's the wrapper. Oh, let me put some shine to it. Right. There it is. <laughs> All right. And then uh, she begins and she proceeds to wrap this. So then she brings, uh, after she closes the flap, she brings this in. Then this side brings it in, this side, and this side. And then from there she says, you know what, I need a, a, nice, a nice bow for this. So then she herself, she says, since uh, I want it to be special, I'm going to create my bow myself. So then she does like this nice <laughs> bow. There it is. Be nice. All right, here we go. So once she finished wrapping this, uh, the gift, very shiny. And then, and then she gets the bow and... Uh, Put the bow on the corner. There it is. Bam. Nice. All right. So check this out. Here goes, here goes a process. The process was she started with a gift, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Then she got a box. She put the gift in the box. From there, she went and wrapped the box. And then at the end, she put the bow. What we're going to be doing from this point on in regards to equations, more operations are going to be presented into the equations. So I want you to think about it like this. She goes and delivers the gift to that special someone, and that special someone is like, oh, snap. They go like, oh. And it flies away. They get the gift, and guess what they do with the gift? Be nice. 
Oh my goodness. That'd be nice. They 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 start they start um un undoing everything very carefully to put it on their wall, all the wrapper and the box. So what is the first thing they take off? They take off the what? The bow. The bow from there. What is the next thing they take off carefully? The wrapper and so on and so forth, right? Till they reveal whatever was the gift. Well, with mathematics and equations, it's the same thing. Check this out. Um, we start with an X, and then from there, what happens to the X? Whatever happens is multiplication and division. And then the last thing that we do, we add or take away a bow. Everybody see that? So if we work our way backwards, what is the first operation that we're going to do from here? Subtraction or addition, together, whichever comes first, right? And then from there, what is the last operation that we're going to focus on? Multiplication or division. Everybody see that? And let me show you how that applies to an equation. Check this out. Today we're going to see stuff that looks like this. 3x plus 5 equals 20. Well, here the x is being surrounded by a lot of stuff. But let's see the operations on the side of the, of the x. Let's see. Look at it. What operation do we have here? We have multiplication. And here we have what? Addition. So according to this gift, and if we need to start unwrapping it to find out what X is, what is the first thing we're going to tackle? Addition or subtraction. So here's addition. So what is the inverse? Subtraction and so on and so forth. Everybody see that? So here goes some practice. Yesterday we did stuff like this. Look up. Don't copy this. We did stuff like this. Line down, minus 2, minus 2, X equals... 69. Tonight, we're going to add one more step. Hold on. Look at this one. Line down. What are my operations? Let's see. I have multiplication and I have addition. So where do I start? With addition. What is the inverse of addition? Subtract, subtract 2, subtract 2. We're left with 3x equals 69. And then from there, what do we do at the end? Multiplication, which is the inverse, divide by 3, divide by 3. And as I told my students in tutoring, whenever you are in multiplication or division and you do this, look up, these do not cancel. Tell your neighbor why. Therefore, whenever you are doing the inverse of multiplication or division, I want to see this. I want to see this line, but put a little couple more like that so that I know that you understand that they don't cancel. It becomes a 1. So what is 1 times x? x equals 23, Michael Jordan. So copy that, and then we're going to do a little bit more practice with those. But then it's going to start escalating pretty quick. So hold on to your horses, and everybody go like this. Bear with me. All right? Copy that. Okay. So, look at this one. Now, some of you went ahead and did just a one step because it looks very familiar, but this is actually a, a two-step equation. Let me go through this. Here he goes. First of all, what's the invisible number here in front of the A? One. one. It's a negative one, so there's multiplication involved. Is that correct? Yes. What is the sign in front of the eight? Positive, so there's addition. So where are we going to start? With addition and subtraction. So what is the inverse of positive 8? Negative 8, negative 8. All right? So then we get negative 1 times A equals 6. And then the last step, the inverse of multiplication is division. Divide by negative 1. Here's our giant 1. So we're left with A equals negative 6. Copy that, please, for those of you that... Kind of probably ran through that stop, so be careful with these. I just wanted to present it like that so that you can see the difference between having the A on the other side or the constant on the other side. All right, so now that we're done with the uh, simple part, let's go to the next one. Copy this one. Example, uh, it's also part of the example Q, negative 5X plus 12 equals 37. Negative 5X plus 12 equals 37. Solve that one. 30 seconds.
All right, check with the neighbor, see what they got. Okay, here it goes. Line down the equal sign. I'm going to identify what, what operations I have. I have addition and I have multiplication right here, yes? So I'm going to start with addition. What is the inverse of addition? Subtraction, subtract 12, subtract 12. We're left with negative 5x equals 25. And my last step, I'm going to divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5, and we're left with x equals negative 5. Hands, have you got that? Okay. So, simple, right? All right, let's kick it up a notch. So now that we got these, let's go to the next step. Uh, copy this one. Example, super cute. Negative 3 equals m over 4 minus 6. M over 4 minus 6. Noah, help me with this one, please. Can you let me know what operations are on the side of the uh, of the variable? No, what operations do we have? We're not solving it. What operations do you see right now? Okay, what do you see here? Subtraction, okay. What other operation? Division, okay. Now that we identify the operations, we start with what? Addition or subtraction, right? So therefore, what is the inverse of subtracting? Add 6, add 6. We're left with 3 equals m over 4. And what was that? Division, so what is the inverse, everyone? Multiplication, multiplication, multiplication both sides. And once again, when you do this, show me the giant one. So we're left with 12 equals n. <coughs> Pretty simple? Okay. Yeah. You got this, yes? Yeah. Oh, that's true. Draw me a one. Please, pretty please, yes? All right, let's do another one. Copy this one. Negative 7 equals m over 9 minus 12. Yes, for the home play, you do need to plot and check. Simplify, isolate, plot, check. Okay. What are the steps? <laughs> Be nice. Esteban, what'd you get for uh, this one? M equals 45. Hands, have you got that? That is incorrect. Uh, Denise. 45 equals M. That is correct. Please do not flip uh, the equation after you're done. I want you to get used to having the variables on both sides. I know some of you are very uncomfortable when you have this and you want to do this. Uh, no. I want you to get used to both. That's why also when I used to coach, I used to tell my, my uh, point guards, if you're dreaming with your right, I want you to start dreaming with your right, left. But I don't know how to dream. Well, hello. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Let's kick it up a notch. Copy this one. Example Q. <laughs> yeah. So you should have seen this one last year also. Bless you. So check this out. Uh, writing utensils down. And, and, yes, some of you already know the process, but I'm going to revisit this again for those of you that were, like, uh, distracted. Not that you guys were, but I'm saying maybe somebody distracted you. Here it goes. Your teacher said, all right, kids, writing utensils. Oh, I don't know if they told you that last year. Uh, but they said, uh, when you get to these, you can either do two things. The first method is one that's very common. You need to find common denominators. And like that, you have all the fractions with a common denominator. Or the second one is find a common denominator 
and multiply the entire equation by the common denominator. So what is our common denominator? 12. 12. So check this out. So when we get the 12 to multiply into, the, into each term, into here, here, and here, I only multiply the numerators. Tell your neighbor why. Very good, because we have a fraction times another fraction. What is this fraction? 12 over 1. So this is 24 over 3R plus 36 over 4 equals 84 over 12. Now check this out. Now we simplify. So what is 24 divided by 3? 8R plus 9 equals 7. Copy that, please, and finish it off, please. So my line down the equal sign, let's see what I get. Uh, what operations do I have? I have addition and I have multiplication. So I'm going to start with addition. What is the inverse? Minus 9 minus 9, 8R equals negative 2. From there, I divide by 8, divide by 8. I have R equals negative 2 over 8, which simplifies and becomes R equals negative 1 fourth. Some of you wrote it in decimal, negative 0.25. Hands if you got that. Okay, good. Do this next one by yourself using this one. And by the way, your teacher probably introduces what this one we call fraction buster. Yeah. 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 All right, good. Yeah. Copy this one. Example, super Q. Two-fifths R plus 3 over 10 equals 1 twentieth. Copy that and work that out. You have 40 seconds. Go. Great. Answer, R equals negative 5 over 8. Hands, have you got that? That is correct. All right, so any questions as to what we're doing so far? Okay, we got this, right? Once again, this one is using fraction busters. Let's uh, kick it up a notch. Copy this one, example one. Yes. Uh, you don't copy the steps because you already know the steps. Simplify, isolate, plot, and check. 2x plus 1 over 3 equals 7. Just copy it, and I'll show you the uh, first step on this one. Look up. Here we go. So let's do this one together. Now, this looks kind of funky because of what number? The 3. So if we didn't have the 3, do we know how to solve this one? So what is that telling us? That we need to get rid of the 3. So let's ask the question, what is the 3 doing right now? It's what? Dividing. So what is the inverse? So we multiply times 3 times 3. Therefore, here's your giant 1. We're left with 2x plus 1 equals 21, and you know what to do from there. Copy and solve. Go. All right, here we go. So now that we, I showed you the process, I'm no longer going to use different colors for right now just to go a little bit faster. I just want to indicate the operations. We have multiplication and addition. So what is the, where do we start in addition? Subtract 1, subtract 1. We're left with 2x equals 20. And then at the end, divide by 2, divide by 2, giant 1, x equals 10. Hands if you got that. Okay? Do this next one by yourself. Example 2. 7 equals 3x minus 4 and all that over 2. I'm telling you. Copy that and go. Answer. What would you get for this one, Denise? 6 equals x. Hands if you got that. That is correct. Once again, here it goes. Here goes the process times 2 times 2. This is 14 equals 3x minus 4. Here's a giant 1. So we're left with add 4, add 4. This is 18 equals 3x. Divide by 3, divide by 3. 6 equals x. All right? So we're done with the easy ones. Copy this one. Example 4. Be nice. All right. 
Writing utensils down really quick. You'll finish copying right now. Look up. So here's my line again down the equal sign just so that I see what I have on each side. What is the first step? I need to simplify. Look at this. If I was to cover this part, tell you never what you need to do here. Everyone, combine like terms. So we have 8x minus 5x. That leaves us with what? 3x minus 21 equals negative 15. Copy and finish it off, please. Um, if you start doing inverse operation, good question. Uh, you're going to end up with two variables on both sides if, if some start with the variable. So let's combine first. That's why the, the first step is to simplify each side. So this becomes uh, plus 21 plus 21. We got 3x equals 6 divided by 3 divided by 3. Giant 1, x equals 2. Hands if you got that. Okay, good. Let's do one more. Copy this one. 4 equals 2x plus 5 minus 6x. Copy that and finish it off. Go. Answer. 1 fourth equals x. Hands if you got that. That is correct. So make sure you're doing all your processes. All right, let's kick it up a notch. Last one. Copy this one. 10y minus parentheses 4y plus 8 close parentheses equals negative 20. All right, let's see. Before anything, bless you, line down the equal sign. I'm going to simplify this side. We have a parentheses. That means we need to get rid of the parentheses. Tell you never what's in front of the parentheses. Negative, negative 1. So then you distribute, you end up with 10y minus 4y minus 8 equals negative 20. From here, combine like terms, we're left with what? 6y minus 8 equals negative 20. From there, we add 8, add 8. We're left with 6y equals negative 12. Divide by 6, and then we're left with y equals negative 2. Show me with the fingers how comfortable you are with these, 1 being the lowest, 5 being the highest. Okay, so now that you see, it, it's just building up to the present, right, that Nayeli gave away, right? Yay. So it's just uh, going backwards and unwrapping our gift. So our home play for tonight, here we go. Our home play for tonight, you copied it, yes? Yay. Yes, so it was there, but I'm putting it up for the video so that it can be up on the, on the web. All right, guys, enjoy your home play. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, yeah, only 12 questions. Bye.